Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Metacom Toys Mayfex video, and today I'm very stoked. This is one of those figures that has eluded me for quite some time. Probably my own fault, I'll just admit it. But I finally have it. Good old Hank Henshaw, the Cyborg Superman. And man, doesn't that look good. That looks awesome. Stoked. Cyborg Superman everywhere on the box. He's terrifying. It's a Terminator version of Superman. And you can't stop this guy. As he turns out to be Hank Henshaw, the whole reign of the Superman, return of the Superman, you get the idea. He's a son of a gun, right? Teams up with Mongol, destroys Coast City, inadvertently creates Parallax, kind of, sort of. You get the idea. He's a problem. He's a just a, a jerk. He's a super jerk. And he's also a cyborg, which makes him oh so cool. Here's everything in the box. I just can't believe I finally have this. Again, my own fault. But just in case you need the Metacom toy user support, there you go. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. It better be, after all the time I've been waiting to get this. I want you to sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, at least for me, straight from Metacom Toys, the Mayfex line, Cyborg Superman. And here's the Grand Master himself all out of the packaging. And one thing I will say is that it's a little light on the accessories, but the figure more than makes up for it. So accessories will include the awesome hand trees. I love the hand trees. I don't have very many Mayfex Metacom toys, but I love the hand trees, right? That's just so cool. You get a pointer robo hand on one and a cape holding on the other. Then you got a pair of fisted hands, right? So you can go pummeling the eradicator and Superboy, basically, and then you got the high five flying hands, which again, I just love the hand trees. You got these blast effects. These are very cool. You got a little paint, little shading to them. Otherwise, they are clear plastic. But yes, they're very much beams that could destroy a coastal city, of course. And then you got the big old arm blaster, of which I love that Cyborg Superman is one of those techno morph sort of deal. He can pretty much take over any machine. His hands just doo -doo -doo -doo, creates the gun. You get the idea. That just looks awesome. Simply separates right below the elbow. You clip it in. Easy peasy. Self-explanatory. It's just awesome. I'll get to the cape in just a second. But in just taking photos and having fun, you know you can do that iconic scene. I just need Eradicator, right, to fill in the gaps a little bit. But you get the idea. Coast City, it's done. It's toast. And Green Lantern is going to be forever changed because that, for the better though, as I might add. But yes, the blast effects simply just plug into the cannon. Get that flight stand going. Man, that is cool, right? So the actual Cyborg Superman. It's awesome. I can't say enough nice things about this. And they really have nailed every aspect of this character, minus, let's say, on the S-Shield, right? Where one half of it should be a little bit more robotic black, which I always thought was how they drew the comic, but no, I guess that's supposed to be the circuitry on the S-Shield. The articulation on this thing is fluid. It's seamless. It's like butter. You want to move it, it just goes. It glides with you. No pins in this guy. He's got double-jointed elbows, the wrists... The shoulders got all that fancy import Japanese tech, which is just so cool. You hear how I'm talking about this DC figure? I kind of wish sometimes that other DC specific figures were able to be talked about as just seamless as this. Right? Wink, wink. You got double jointed elbows. You got the whole bicep swivel. You got one heck of an ab crunch, right? A robo ab crunch going on. I love the silver paint that they have on this thing. And one thing to point out is I love how they got that part right right on the side. Parts are missing, but it would reflect a robotic human skeleton. The paint goes all the way around. He has his belt loops painted red, right? <laughs> now, the legs only kick out so far, huh? No, that's because the legs drop down. They got that fancy articulation point right there. So it allows him to kick out if you really want, right? This guy is best for standing, flying, you get the idea. No articulation in that robo thigh, just FYI, but he does have double jointed knees, which look great. 
and then down to the feet, which kind of sort of rock to and fro, but they go up and down, and he's got toe articulation. I love the silver metal parts right there. Toes for the boots on that side. God, this figure is killer. Rest assured, we will be taking a look at more Mafex on the DC side for the 90s figures, right? The one thing that I don't really care for are these little cape elevation pads, right? It kind of gets it poofy going, which is not a problem, but it kind of makes you wish you could pull them out if you wanted to. But oh, did I mention the cape? No, that big old flowy thing behind him. Giant bendy wire in this thing. And it just goes every which way. You pose it, he's just floating there like a psychotic cybernetic thing. You got the yellow S shield that's printed on the back. The cape, you'll figure it out. It takes a little bit of a learning curve, right? To kind of fold it and get it just as you want it. But when you want to utilize that included stand, yes, all Mafex figures come with a stand. I'm not always a huge fan of Mafex stands, but this one is actually pretty tight and it works. You can get him just hovering there, just thinking, right? But then you want to have him pointing. Maybe he's mad at the Green Lantern. Maybe he's mad at Superman who's just come back from the dead. I love it. And you get him in that flying pose. It's terrifying. Cyborg Superman, Hank Henshaw, as a character... It's terrifying, but I freaking love him, right? He's just so dang cool. Now, I do have the return of Superman, Superman in the black costume, right? So you get the idea. For the most part, I would say that their scaling matches up. It's pretty much perfect. There's a couple things that are off here and there. I don't think that Metacom toys, Mafex versions, they really scale all too well. I don't really think that's... That might be what they're going for for time to time. Because if you look at the Nightfall Batman, right? That really doesn't match up. Cyborg Superman is a little bit smaller. The chest, you, know, you get the idea. It's just cool looking figures and nailing every aspect of those figures with correct paints, specific accessories. That's what I love about what Mafex is doing. And if you're wondering about scaling... This figure will not go with McFarlane, and it will kind of sort of go with Mezco, but not really. I would say that for the most part, Mafex figures are definitely going to be their own scale to their own thing, and sometimes just their own own thing in general. So that'll wrap it up for a look at the brand new, at least for me, Hank Henshaw, the Cyborg Superman. And much like the Batman Who Laughs, I don't always call him Cyborg Superman. It's how you kind of refer about him, right? But it's really Hank Henshaw at the end of the day. You just go Cyborg Superman. People go, oh, yeah. A lot of people don't know who Hank Henshaw is. But it's cool, right? He, he's just a, a smarmy, you know what, right? But dang, does he make for a great action figure. The cape, the articulation, the accessories, you nailed it. You're just missing an American flag. That would have been cool to recreate that iconic cover, but you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cyborg Superman, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, oh yeah, I've already ordered the Huntress. She's on her way, so look for her very soon. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.